The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the early edition being recorded at 8.06 a.m. Eastern Time on this Wednesday, the 16th of March. It'll be replayed at my usual time. This is okay to do uh, a show right now, 8 o'clock, pre-market, and my normal show would be at 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. But whatever I say now, at 2.30 to 2.45 this afternoon, after the Fed speak, Anything can happen. So we'll go through the whole scenario. We're looking at the Dow yesterday that closed up sharply. But if you're looking at the little cluster pattern, remember I said yesterday this is the that this is the fifth session from the low. Uh, one, two, three, four. Sorry, today's the fifth session. Yesterday was the fourth session, and that in the little history that we've got of these lows that have been made. That fourth session, going to the fifth session, is really important because this is where you can get an acceleration higher. Most importantly, now I'm going to go to the futures because that's what we have to do. This is pre-market. Futures are up very strongly in a new leg C. Now, in the Chamway methodology, when you go very quickly off a low um, and you get to peak A, then like one bar rest and then a peak B like it did back in the end of Feb, beginning of March, then one day rest and then another slightly higher high and then come back down, that's, that's normal. This is the third. This is the second time that we're doing it. We've done it three times before, but it was much bigger from the low that was made 24th of January. So this is really important. Why? Because the futures have already spiraled up 413 points to 33,841. As I said to subscribers to my opening call this morning, I said, and, and we were able just in time to get a start, a start along in the diamonds yesterday morning, uh, as fractionally higher than my preferred price, but we wanted to go along. I'd mentioned a number of times in the newsletter. So um, what we're looking at here is within the context of Peak A, which was after that last low of the 8th of March, strong move up, just slightly above the previous day's high. On the uh, That's on the 9th. Went to 33,339 in the futures. Pulls back under the 9 EMA. Just can't make it. The pink 9 EMA. Next day, it goes up to a higher high, 33,588. Pulls back. Just can't close above that 9-period moving average or the 14. Next day, touches the 14, one-day rest. And then yesterday, we had a very strong candle, but did not make a new leg C. But we went to leg C this morning. And now it's really important because the 34,070, 200-period exponential moving average. Now, go to the cash because the cash is a little different. We already made leg C yesterday, all underneath, way underneath the previous high of 34,179. So this is a really important moment. All the All the... Technicals that we were looking at, for that's we meaning my subscribers to my opening call, all of them were suggesting that, uh, or oh, having a hard time getting uh, Basil's chart to load to the screen. It should, quite a number of people say it's good. So I hope you can get that, JB. Um, What's, and JB, I had a high reading in the trend gauge yesterday as well. That, that suggested that the S&P should have a strong move up, which should help the market today. It's doing that right now. So this is really important. Look what's going on. The daily had the MACD for the very first time since it crossed negative back on the 16th of Feb, cross positive. To me, that was important. That means these little, the histogram, the 0% line, of the moving average convergence divergence cross positive and usually you don't just immediately turn down you can but once it takes the time to cross positive that's usually a good sign at least for a little while a few days maybe or could be longer stochastics very weak at 40 the on balance volume did give us a nice v-shaped turn actually it started that about two days ago so that's important now let's go to the e mini the es i'll go to this, this is the continuous contract i actually haven't moved uh, to the next uh, uh um, to the june 
yet. I'm still on March. I don't have to do that until the last minute. Uh, meantime, but this is a continuous contract. Up 57 pre-market. How many times have we seen this? Up and down 50, 60, 70 points. Well, we're up 57 and 43, 11. And we have not yet seen. This is a, a new peak A, gray peak A, right here. A, gray peak B, and here's your leg C. This should be great. I haven't got time to change it. Let's see, the MACD did cross positive yesterday, and that's really important. We went above. Now, have a look at this. I love drawing these trend lines. You see this trend line? This goes all the way back to August of last year. And it's just held beautifully, beautifully, beautifully. And look where it hit. It hit exactly. This is called the Chapman Wave Inside Track Propellant Zone. So far, it is acting as a propellant zone. We didn't even get close to it over the last week and a half. After that low that was made on the 24th of Feb, uh, this is a continuous contract, and that was at 42, uh, 4,093.23. So now at uh, 25. And now what we're looking at is you've got these resistance levels, Chapway falling, axe formation right here. Oh, it's starting to get a little messy. I don't, I don't like messy charts, but anyway, that's what we'll deal with. And that says this inside track repellent zone is going to be very important going to the 4361 200 period exponential moving average so that all of that is really important now i don't personally like these huge moves up especially when the fed is about to talk today once in a while the market does presuppose what they think is going to happen and um continues whatever the direction is regardless of the Fed. I'll, I'll get to that in a moment because we want to be looking at many other things. Most importantly in this e-mini chart, I wanted to point out that from that low, that is actually the starting point. You can count, even though this A up there on the uh, 3rd of March is way up at 43.32, and then this A is lower the starting point is there at every peak successively high. Oh, I'll put a C. That shouldn't be there. I have to wait for a C. A C will start in the E-mini e continuous contract at 43.27. Okay, we've got that out the way. Let's just quickly finish up the Q. One, two, three, the QQQ, trading at 334.30, the NQ. And I was talking to, uh, I, I, I missed my, our caller yesterday, but I was doing a lot of work on the queues yesterday, and I said, this is a uh, this is a good sign so far, and that you see the queues actually move much higher. You need to see trading into the 14,000, it's trading right now, 13,707. Very big move, 258 points up. Not quite as big as the others, but it's still pretty darn good. You want to be able to see trading above the 14,000 level for a couple of days to say you've established some kind of a low. Um, IWM, the Russell 2000, Russell 2000 is trading at 198.16, up 238 pre-market. That's a good sign, not good enough. You want to see 203 to 205 by Tuesday, early next week. All right, now this is important. I wanted to go to gold. Uh, we should be getting a break any moment from uh, here. There it is. So gold is trading down five. It's gone from 2078 down to 1924. Let's see how this holds. Um, I'll do silver quickly. Silver is also trading down some at 2507. Here's what's really important. Look at the pool, and then I want to spend a little time on the TBT, the inverse of the TLT. We'll talk about that as well. The crude um, is at. 96. I'll be back. This is the early edition. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right. Information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. We're back. Basil Chapman, early edition at 8.18 in the morning, and it'll be replayed. You'll get this at uh, 10.18 so that at this particular time. So we're looking at crude oil at 97.10, up 68 cents. Look at this big move, 130.50 down to the low yesterday, and now it's trading just above that low in, in the 90, uh, 97 area. At least for now, it's saying just for the moment, Oil is not an issue, even though it's extremely high. It's not quite the issue that it should be. That's number one. Number two is, let's just look at heating oil, um, H-O. Where am I typing there? In the wrong place. Oh, that was a mistake. Let's just uh, do this again. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, here we go. Heating oil, H-O, H-O. There we go. Uh, also, very sharp move down. It's trading at $3.0963, and it made a high on uh, the 9th. It was 4.670. This is a pretty steep. This is the Eiffel Tower, straight up. So it could start a new move, trying to get to the 370s at some point. But at this point, it's not an issue. A dollar, the dollar right now is trading down a little bit. It's down 56 ticks at 98.49. Hopefully, it's just forming a high-level consolidation here because I still see, the, remember, so for me, the dollar is an icon of um, the U.S. economy. And, and that's number one, but it's also an icon in the whole currency area of the favored being the favored uh, go-to currency. And we're looking at here... EUR, USD, upside down. Look at that, same thing upside down. At a very nice spike, it's holding. Will it go down below the 1.08 area? Um, there's a chance that it could start a sideways move here. Now we get to the real issue. US bonds. Uh, this is a continuous contract of the 30-year T-bond continuous contract. It's trading at 152 and 330 seconds. It made a new low today. This is with the Fed about to give Fed speak. So the low today is 151 and 630 seconds. Look at the TLT. Now, there's something that's going on here. With the, see, I've been talking about this for a little while and saying, you know, the, the Fed doesn't necessarily have to do anything dramatic because the T-bonds have done it for them. With T notes as well, most, most of these T notes they want to look at. That's number one. Number two is look at the TBT. 
This is the inverse. Now, I have a number of people over the last couple of days have been saying, look, we've been long the, T the TBT because we're looking at the patterns that you've shown for a while. Um, and it looks, looks as if the TBT is about to bump into resistance. Yeah. So the question came in, really good question from Jim. Um, Basil. Review TBT daily, weekly, monthly, my question. Oh, I, you know, you do this so nice and formally, beautiful little uh, um, inserts and all, trying to determine if monthly will hit the peak C, my question. Would it be left side, right side, price, time match? Jim. So here we go, Jim. We're looking at leg F slash C in the daily chart, having hit 20.81, trading at 20.80 right now. The MACD did cross positive but in a very whippy way, but it's positive. The nine is flattening out at 90.30. As long as it holds over 80%, that's good. If within three days, you see what happens when it goes quickly over the, the stochastic goes quickly over the 80% level and then dips down below it, that means you're about to pull back. And what it did was when it made that peak E at 20.37 around about February the 16th, yeah, February the 16th, 28.20, uh, pulls back to where? The, this fantastic 200 period moving average support. Look how many times it's hit that like a cushion and then like a trampoline. And this time it was a trampoline. It hit that on the 17.90 uh, something, 17.91 yeah, on the 1st of March. And it ran up all the way to yesterday's high of 20.91. So this is what the question was, left side, right side, price, time match. Well, let's look at it. You've got this beautiful cup formation, the high that was made in the TLT. This is the ultra short Lehman 20 year T bond fund ETF. And it went to a week of the 19th of March 2021. It went to 22.60. Pull back very sharply to the 15.60, was it? 15.53 level. The third, the week of the third of December, and now very quickly it's gone up. Now the Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line. Oh, well, first of all, this isn't a plus anymore. That has to be a buy mode. Even if it pulls back here, the stochastic is at 78. It was at 80 percent. So this remains, at least for now, a buy mode. It could fail, but this is the way it is. MACD is strong. This is the weekly chart. We've got a left side high, that high that I mentioned. Uh, that was March, was it? March the 9th, week of 19th, comes down. I can't use the left side low, which was the low of the third of, week of the 3rd of December. Why? It's just too lopsided. So what I chose was to use the high right here. Whoops, it needs to move one tape to the right. I used this high, the high of 19.01, uh, 19.03, the high of the 15th of October goes out there. I think it's extended one more time. So that says that by, give it a, give it a little while, you see how beautifully the resistance of the Chapman Wave inside wedge, target, resistance line, green because it's going up. It would be pink on the way down if it was going down. And that says before May, <laughs> this is way too far, before May the 11th, there should be a rally that I, I actually am going to change this a little bit. I, I like to go to the inside wedge as, the, as the, the target line. I'm going to say by the 22nd of April. That's a little over a month, about six weeks from here. March, yeah. Um, five, six weeks from here. There should be a test of the high that was made on the 19th, the week of the 19th of March of 22.60. That also says that key support now is between 20 and 19. That should be your key support level. So what I was saying before is if you look at the yields, this is basically the yield, right? If we had to go to the TNX, 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 there we are. If you go to the TNX, it has actually broken out. This is even a, this is even a stronger, this is the 10-year. I mean, this, you see, uh, I need to take a time to do this because it's so important. Regardless of what the Fed does and how they do it, what we're really looking at here at 21.67, 2.167 is, is the 10-year yield, is the pattern in the monthly chart that went to a high after coming down sharply in November of 2019 to 19.71. 
slumping down to the low of March, I believe it was, of 2020. Yep, March 2020 to 3.98. It's actually 0.398. I always do this. This is the large rectangle. And the large rectangle says it could make a lopsided stair step move back towards that high, going just under, right on, or just above the left side high. And look what it's done. It's gone even higher. And that makes this level within a half a point or so of uh, 19.71, 1.971 that was made the yeah November of 2019. That makes it very strong support. It can go a little bit lower, but that's saying it's and the monthly chart says deals are this is a buy mode because the stochastics at 83 percent and the beat night is very strong. It's way above the nine period moving average. So yields are going higher. That's about as simple as it can be. So I'll be back uh, to, to, to just sum it up, Jim. I'll be back in a moment. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Hello, welcome back, Basil Chapman. The early edition of the state study. I don't know what this is right now. I'm sure there's some economic news coming across the transom, but at this point, we'll see what the S and P does. The S and P made a high this morning of 43.23, round number high in the 10-minute chart. That was a PD double top. I suspect that soon. Normally, what would happen on, on Fed Day is that if the market is down at a certain point up until about 12, maybe 12.30, or up a certain amount, it starts to narrow as it waits, awaits the uh, 2 o'clock uh, time frame 
where the Fed makes its uh, makes its announcement, and then if there's a meeting at two thirty, then you can go on. And I always say, wait a little bit until two forty, and that really tells you the direction of the market going into the close. But I suspect that the high that we've just seen, at least for a little while, is is unless there's something really spectacular that comes out. This is a lot of optimism, up fifty four points before the Fed speak. But as I said before, now we go back to the bonds. As I said. The bonds are telling you, this is a TNX. I, I I wasn't going to do that. I did this yesterday. I'll do it again today. So a lot of people have asked me, could I show the chart? I'll do that. It's got a black background. Hopefully you can see it quite nicely. Look, this is the 30-year yield, the white. The brown is the 10-year the T-note yield. The five-year is the cyan. Um, that's on the left side. Then you've got... Um, the wood, the iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF on over here. Look at that rectangle formation that's been going on since April of last year. Well, maybe let's call it March of last year. Narrow rectangle can last a lot longer than your patience until it breaks out one of the ways. This usually breaks a propeller shaft down to the downside and get it held beautifully. High grade copper, I didn't do that. We'll go back to that in a moment. Um, look, the Philadelphia Housing Index, we're at the lower end of this big arch formation, and we'll see how this holds at 431. If it starts to go under 425, that's going to be a problem. But so far, it's at the lower end, but it is holding okay. So now you can see, look at the yield. Uh, this is the, well, it's changed right now. It's 2488, 2.488, but it was, yep, 2488, it made a higher high. Look, this is a weekly chart. Look at that, a breakout. Above 2505 in the yield goes above the yield that was, I always forget these things. So the date was March of 2021. Uh, it went to 2505, that's 2.505. And here it is, retesting in this very nice lopsided cup formation. Look at that. The cyan, five year and the 10 year are so close. That win. There's nothing that they like this. Uh, 2.1. 2.167 and 2. Point, if I can just hit that button right there. Uh, okay, now let's hit this button right here. And 2.13. I mean, come on. That's so narrow. So this is a, the, the Fed. This has done the Fed's work. All the Fed now has to do is formalize it, and it can do that in a quarter point, threatening a uh, 50 point, not threatening, suggesting that we could go 50, 50, and even another 50, but it's the work is done. All they're going to do is formalize the rate itself. And the formalize, that, that makes it, that's important because it means that you've raised the base, um, and that's gonna be very important. Okay, now let's get out of this. And what I wanted to do is, I wanted to show you, as I said, I think that we've seen some kind of top. Now, I, I'm not trading right now, unfortunately. Otherwise, that would have been a nice, at least attempt to have some kind of a short for a little while. There it is at the 200 period moving average off the PD in the one minute chart of the E-mini. This is, this is still the March contract. I don't have to change for another day or so. So here we are pulling back now only up 49.50 and there's your rectangle formation in the 10 minute chart after a PD there as well right there and that's what we're looking at. If at any point uh, we're at 43.12 we start to trade not just go under but we start to trade with 43.08 as a resistance we could see some kind of a pullback and that pullback could hold still really well but pullback going into Fed speak is a long period between 8.34 in the morning when I'm doing the show, which will be repeated um, at my 10 o'clock time, and 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, that's a lifetime in this particular market. All right, here we go. A couple of things I want to look at here. So I had questions about, so I'll just sum it up, that the TBT, it might just be bumping to some kind of resistance here. But looking out just from the chart formation, and that can always change, I would say within four to five weeks, there's a chance that we're testing the left side high, and that was at 2.260. Oh, 22.60 is the way it's typed in for me. So, uh, and, and in the meantime, you've got good support between 20 and 19, 2.00 and 1.90. Okay, I hope we've done that. Our next question is, uh, let me see. I wrote them down. Wrote them down. Wrote them down. Oh yes. Uh, could you could you go through 
uh, some of the patterns that we're looking at there that are like wheat. Yeah, does wheat is trading down 28, 11, 28. I suggest to you that this Chapman Wave Roman candle of, um, I forgot to put the date, of the 8th of March at 1363 and a half is a continuous contract. So this price will also change. Three, I forgot what I said. Uh, three, eight, I think I said. Uh, is that right? All right, I'll just, I'll put it in. Uh, three, eight, now I'll check it to see three, eight. Three eight. Um, I suggest to you that this is now in a consolidation phase, um, and it's going to be really important if wheat starts to trade back over twelve sixteen. That's going to be important. That's a uh uh. We've not resolved any issue there, uh, but if it trades down below a nine nine eighty, it, it doesn't have to actually hold. It just has to go down to nine eighty. It says, you know what? We've made an upside limit for now. It's still in play, but it's not as strong as it was. And uh, I, I don't want to go into the geopolitical side other than to say we would be saying that there's some at least shorter term resolution. Uh, and that's what we'd be looking at within the context of soybeans. Soybean made a, a rectangle uh, top. It's stuck in a range between the 1756-ish area, that high that was made, and I'd say the 15, let's just say 1590 right now, it could make the cup formation, sorry, the arch formation within the rectangle. But if at any point soybean starts to trade at 1705 or higher, it says, you know what, stair-step move towards the, the most recent high. And that's important. Looking at corn, C. Uh, continuous contract. This is stuck in the rectangle formation, high level consolidation. So all of these grains are saying, and you remember we are still along the DBA. Uh, it's saying as well that the high that was made in 22.64 on August the 8th, um, it's stuck in the range, in the higher range. It hasn't started to break down yet. So the agricultural side is still a big issue. We've talked about inflation. The longer this stays in the higher range, the longer you're going to see um, um, all the prices in the supermarkets, you begin to see the packets get smaller. A six ounce becomes a five ounce. Um, that's the way it works. And uh, you, you actually pay more for less. It's just a, a beautiful way that is done. We've watched this for years, decades. Now, um, you think they don't mention it, but you think you're getting the same thing, but actually it's less and they bump up the price. So it's a lot, a lot more than you would expect. All right, we've got a break coming up, and I've got questions coming. Yes, we will look at the XLF. Good question. XLF, uh, pulling back, what could the XLF do? I think the XLF is kind of under pressure for now. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value 
or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, right, folks. Just in terms of the double top pattern, I had a question about that. Yes. You see this double top in the E mini? Uh, this is, of course, only at 8.42 a.m. when it's, this is played at 10.42. Who knows where the price is? Um, but right now, we're looking at that 43.2300 round number high being retested. And I like to do this. I like to say, let's compare that vertical line to that vertical line. Are the technicals improving? Are they worse? Well, they're much worse. And that says, now there's some bias towards the downside. Unless you use time and these technicals start to improve later while the price holds, that's when the ball bouncing because the, 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 the balloon is in the air. And for some reason, with the currents, the, the balloon holds up even though technically it should be falling. And then when the wind comes back, it, it retests that high. But I'd say 306 under 306. What was the low in the last few minutes? 306.50 in the futures. This, of course, is I'm doing the exact same pattern, but different price will be for the June. I haven't moved to the June yet, so this is the March, but the price principle is the same. So I was saying, starts to close underneath 4306. That's a different kettle of fish altogether. Okay, that's just talking about the double top pattern, how I like to measure it. And you can see how that's a very simple technique. Now, what I want to do is a question came in about. I'll go back to the XLF in a moment, but a question came in that I think is pertinent to right now, and that is, um, hi Basil, if the TNX is up so much and the QQQ also higher, are the Qs higher because of Chinese tech up move? So I, I want you, these are really separate things. When you're looking at uh, the, the yields, the yields are up for many other reasons. So let's try to treat, treat them. You remember I said VIXI, volatility index, Bondi, bonds, Goldie, gold, Dolly, dollar, and now I've added crudy, which is for crude oil. You've, yes, they come together, but try to think of them separately because each one has its own momentum. So let's just go to this and say the Qs are in another area altogether. Uh, to, to yields, they happen to maybe coincide inversely. Um, and no, uh, in terms of the the core, which is the bonds, the TLT, they're going in the same direction, but no. I like to think of them separately, and today they're going to be dealt separately by the Fed. And, uh, you know, you got to think of the Fed as now, yes, it's part of, it is part of media. In other words, all of a sudden, Powell, who was a very quiet person before, becomes part of the media, and the media, you remember I said, is the greatest force. I grumble about both sides in the political spectrum. But I, it's not the, just the politicians, it's the media that con controls everything. Look at this, everything you're seeing here with uh, Ukraine, just 
24 hours a day, and that just filters as well. There were other conflicts that were going on. Abidjan, the, just, uh, just uh, 2020, the, things happened, and you didn't have the same media context. So I'm not talking about right or wrong. I'm talking about media infiltration and flooding, flooding the, 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 news, the news with that. So that can bias you. So we don't know all the ins and outs of what the administration really knows or doesn't know. So it's very difficult. We can only take it from the as bystanders and try to put it together. It's very hard. There are some things that are pretty concrete, but there's a lot that isn't. So FXI, which is the China uh, large cap ETF, plunges and it goes down from basically the 3839 area, just most recently in, in January, February, to the low yesterday, just above 26, 26.13. Now it's at 30.34, it's up 33.27%, up 12%. So that's that V-shape turnaround that can often happen. So try to think of them separately. So think of this, the Qs, the, um, and let me go back to the NQ, and the FXI don't have the same pattern but they have the same contingency. In other words, the Qs have a lot of high techs. FXI has uh, has a lot of um, tech sector, even though you can't really call Baba um, uh, Alibaba just purely tech. But it really it, it's it acts like a tech. And here it is, just like the FXI, and it's gone from over 300 down to the 75 level, 76, 75 level. I and mean, that is what a what a. Oh. Horrible. So this is either an oversold bounce is up 20 percent, up 15 and 92. So think of them separately, because in three weeks time, there's a chance that they don't all match. They've had a little bit of, of the same action. But if you mirror image them, they're really different. We could find that um, the FXI, the Chinese area and the FXI in particular, have a bounce and then they fail and make even lower lows. We just don't know. The Qs, in fact, could have a rally and rally even stronger, but not going all that far. So it's just percentages, it's a whole bunch of things. But just at this particular moment, we are so oversold in all these areas. I didn't do this today, but R A R K K will be a nice benchmark to say having hit a low yesterday from the 125 November high to yesterday's low of 53, was it? 51.85, trading right now at 55.75, up 2.5%, up $1.36. There's a lot going on. So let's try to separate those. And just at this moment, you're going to get a, even if there's a pullback in the general market, you will get at least intra, intraday, you get a very big spike up in some of these areas. And we'll be watching that. Let's see on the weekend when I do my uh, opening call overview of my video for that. Let's, we'll be looking at a lot of these things and saying, where are we? What happened? That, that's number one. And number two is we're going to say what is working and what is not. For subscribers, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be in areas that are, I wouldn't say under the radar, but with a different kind of a focus. Uh, one is going to be an engineering stock today that hopefully we will get. I don't know if we'll be able to get it. We'll see. I didn't want to buy a gap up. I have to wait for a little bit of a pullback. We'll see. And that one, I'm very specific. Yesterday, I wanted to buy the, the uh, diamonds. And I said, we want to be buying. This is what I only buy today. But I would prefer if it was at a certain point, which it was. It was even lower. But as I was sending out my, um, my, my opening call newsletter, and that part of the trader's corner that has all the different positions and it started to move up and it was really close, but it was a little higher than the preferred, but I wanted in. So we've got in and um, and now the diamonds are moving up very nicely. That's basically the Dow. But really what what is important and normally I'm very specific. I say under and that's it. In this case, I said preferred, but we want to get in. Uh, to me, that's really important. Next question was, and I want to go to this because this is really important. This is the financials. I think at this particular point, we're going to find out which of the big banks. You know, the, for some reason, the banks are always involved in whatever the major crisis is, uh, whether it was the housing. It just doesn't matter. You can go back in history. The banks are always in the wrong place at the wrong time. They were doing everything right for quite a while. 
And now we're going to find out. Uh, we're still keeping our bank stock. Bank of America, we bought it at 31, uh, trading now, I think, at about 42. It actually hit the 50 area, double topped and pulled back. We've taken quite a bit off. We have a nice core cool position that we're going to hold as long as we can. But the XLF is saying to me, there are so many cross currents in the, the whole financial area that I don't think it's going to lead late right now. I think it's a little later in the year that it starts to lead, but it is up 49 cents today, up 1.31%, um, and it's trading in 37.87 pre market. That whole area of 37.69, you can see how important the 200 pre moving average is, both in support and resistance. If the F XLFS Select Financial Spider Fund can trade in the 38.80s by Tuesday, that's the reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Folks, I just want a couple of things. JB has a great question in the den about petrodollars. I saw a TV show last night discussing the petrodollar. Will that uh, take away from the dollar? You know, currencies, things that move in currencies are really so, yeah, there are always crises, but these crises build up for ages. It'll take a long, long time before that happens. I'll discuss it maybe more tomorrow. I just want to show you in the E-mini chart, look, from yesterday at 6.10 and 6.20 in the morning, when the uh, when that green line turned positive, this is a 10-minute E-mini chart. It doesn't matter whether it's a February, a March contract or June, doesn't matter. It's the same, same pattern. There was just a momentary glitch. So it went from 41.60, let's say, 
all the way to a moment she just three bars of pink at about uh, 1420 that's 220 uh, on the 15th and then it went pink and then it went back to green and that green stayed for a long time and it continued then it went pink and when it turned green again at about 22:20, that's 10 minutes past uh, uh, 20 minutes past 10 last night at uh, 42:61 on the uh, 15th it's been green up until right this very moment as we talk so it's gone it went green let me just give you an approximation at about 42:60 that's 100 points above the previous one and it just went pink right here at 43.07 or 43, let's call it the lower 43.03. So these are techniques that I discuss. I show my subscribers. We try to use them all the time whenever we can. So we're watching that. Remember, underneath uh, in the E mini, I said that if it starts to trade underneath 40, what are we looking at? Uh, 43.06 for a little while. That means that maybe that top that we saw a little earlier on is in fact the top for a good few hours. So uh, after the Fed, so at 2.40 this afternoon, if the Dow is holding a plus 250 or more, that's really good. If it's come back and it's now only up 80 or it's actually started to see some, uh-oh, a little bit of a consolidation. But I think we are hammering out some kind of a base that says it should get a piece of ground into early next. That's the way I'm looking at it right now. Have a wonderful time. Back to the time. Okay. Just